Hello YouTube, adult fan of LEGO UK here. Welcome to my review of Jabber's Sail Barge. This is set 75020, ages 9 to 14. Comes with 850 pieces and re retails in the UK for £99.99. pence. That's through the LEGO store or the LEGO store online. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to the unboxing, um, which I've already done for this particular set. So you'll have an overview of the actual box itself, the amount of bags that come inside the box, and um, the instructions and any other accessories that actually came in the box itself. Anyway, so on with this, this review. Um, right, so first, all, first of all, I think this is a good set. Um, However, I think it is overpriced at £99.99p. Um, 850 pieces doesn't really represent a great um, price per pence or per cent um, value. Um, but it has got some good features on it um, aside from that though. So, right, let's get into the review itself. So, I'm just going to spin around so you can actually see the set from all angles. go okay so let's start with this side here so the first features we have here are I to start with these ones you have some little openings here these would be for well cannons really um, you'd have cannons shooting out of there and again on this one again you can see there um, that opens okay I'm gonna have to speed around a lot of these features because there are actually quite a few of them um, side comes down there and that side comes down there so inside now we can see Jabba and Princess Leia um, prisoner so that's the prisoner princess Leia and um, we've got a little prison cell over here so I'm just gonna lift this up bring it in so Hopefully you can see that there. Okay, let's just go back down. Okay, so I'm going to carry on spinning round. These also come down at the rear. Okay. And that we can see here, this is Max Rebo playing his um, drums on the rear of the sail barge there. Okay, carry on spinning around to the other side. So we've got the same features on the other side with these open up like so. So again, that's where your cannons would be um, and firing from. You can see there, close those. Sides come down again on this one, or on this side rather. Okay. I'll talk about the features a bit more in a second. Right, and then also what we can do is the actual entire top um, also just lifts off like so. Let's put that to one side. So there we can see the sail barge entirely open. So I'm just going to lift this up. Okay, bring it into shot over here. Kind of give you. A better look of it. So, like I said, we got Jabba there, Princess Leia, Max Rebo there playing the drums. That spins round. Okay, if I go around to the other side, obviously we can see the rear of Jabba there. We have this is a kitchen area here, so you can see here there's a pot. You see there there are some translucent orange studs down there so it represents a little f um, stove or oven hob area we have a little container here with a printed brick on top and obviously inside here something cooking away here is the sal area that's obviously the rear of it so you can put a minifigure in there there is also a door here which does open Just spin that around to that side so you can see yeah, so that's the prison cell door itself. OK, 
Okay, so that's it for that side. If I just go around here again into the kitchen area, so you can see up here we've got a, um, a chicken drumstick there, a fish hanging up. We have here, hopefully you can see that, there's a frying pan there hanging up. Um, okay, these here, if you can see these there, I will explain what they're for in a minute. So I'm just going to put this back down. So another feature on this is the front area here. So this lifts up. So if we lift this up, and you see there coming out is a cannon itself. So this cannon will come out. And there's the cannon itself. So this does actually fire. There's the firing mechanism there. The way this works are these are basically the pieces that um, will fire from the cannon. Okay, so that just simply goes into a cannon like so. So that's now in there. So if I put this down here, pull back on the actual cannon piece itself and fire. So little cool feature there. And that simply goes back into the front, just slot it back in, like so. And then if we shut this down, you'll see that automatically pushes that bit back in. So again, when I lift it up, you'll see it come out, hopefully, to through the front. Yeah, like so. Nice little feature, cool little feature. I think that's it for the main sail barge itself so once I've got the roof the top off rather the deck I should say um, just give you obviously the sails here these are like a sort of plastic um, material really good really durable I think they look cool as well you can see there with the pattern on them um, so at the front here we've got I pronounce his name re re is re is See him now. I'll give you a better look at the minifigures in a second. You can see him standing there, R2 D2. And here we've got a skiff guard here. So on the top, there we have a cannon. And that actually has got some flick fire missiles on it. These are flick fire missiles. So I'll just take one out so you can see it. There is actually a here we go, a flick fire missile. So that simply slots into there and obviously it can be flicked out. And again, this will spin round like so. These are adjustable, you can move these, these sails. Now you can put them into different positions. Um, like so, they're actually on a ball joint there. You can see that underneath there. Yeah, that is actually a ball joint, so obviously they can move round um, fairly independently um, of each other. The railing um, obviously goes around the top there, so there we go. I think that's the oh, main overview. I'm just going to put this back together. Okay, and that just simply slots on the top like that. These all <coughs> close round, close, close, close. Very simply like so. There is another feature here. There's a little, you can see there, a cannon here as well. Again, which, let's bring this up. You see that there. Um, and this again can be moved um, around. You can put a minifigure behind that if you want to. We also have this feature here, which come out. So these come out like so on both sides you can see those again they're part of the flying mechanism the sails so they're a combination of sails and can be used as obviously brakes as well if you turn it that way okay so they just quite simply slot back like so 
Okay, that's it, I believe, for the main sail barge. I'm actually just showing there's a lot of stickers on here, so all everything you can see on here basically is a sticker. So we've got stickers all the way along here. They're all stickers, sticker there. Um, and again, same on this side, sticker, 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 stickers along this piece here, and again, same stickers on the rear. <coughs> that actually, that's a printed, <coughs> excuse me, that's a printed piece. Um, which I showed you earlier, so that is a printed piece that's in there. Okay, okay, guys, I'm just going to uh, get all the minifigures off now and I'll give you a quick um, overview of the minifigures. Okay, guys, there we go, review of the minifigures now. So, first off, we do have Max Rebo, cool um, little blue minifigure. If you can see here, so he's all this light blue cover color everywhere again he's got the short legs um, his head just take that off okay so this is this what we're getting in more sets now this rubbered textured you see there kind of rubber uh, material for his head so it just simply slots on there and you can see his printed eyes Okay, that's Max Rebo. Next up we have Reyes. Again, apologies for my pronunciation. Okay, can we see him there? You can see his print into his front torso and the rear of his torso. Nothing on the legs, comes with this blaster. See his face with his three eyes there. You can see some little, the printing on his eyes, black and white pupils. And again, this has got this rubbered texture to it as, again for this head. Obviously getting a bit more popular, these moulds. Um, next up, we have our we have our skiff guard, we we So our skiff guard, holding his um, spear and axe piece. You can see that. Okay, you can see his front torso printing. And his rear torso printing with his hair there on the rear of his head, going down his back. Excellent printing to his face on this one. Let's just move that out of the way. Really, really cool detail on that face. We can get that in there. Look at that. Like all these tattoos on his face. It is a single sided face apart from obviously the hair. Great detail. Um, and obviously his blue arms. Next up we have our R2-D2, so this is kind of our slave R2-D2. Um, or servant. It's obviously been made into the servant for Jabba on his sail barge. So I think most people would have seen R2-D2 many times over, but here he has his tray where he's serving obviously Jabba and guests. So he has a glass there. A mug there and a bottle there which may have wine or water um, inside it um, but yeah that's, um, that's R2-D2 okay next we have Princess Leia so this is Princess Leia um, being held prisoner by a Jabba so again some really good printing detail you can see that on the legs and on the front torso well, I'll take that off in a minute so you can see the rear but you can see a rear sorry the rear of a hair piece and the gold that's actually in her hair there uh, front uh, sorry her face printing again not looking particularly happy she's got this piece around her neck which is obviously this chain we can see here which Java keeps hold of. So I'm just going to take a hair piece off. 
there you can see a double sided face there you go, it's so looking a little bit happier with that face not so happy with that one ok, let's take this off now so you can see the print into the rear torso, let's just get a head back on ok so there we can see, well obviously you can see there that was her front torso printing and there we have her rear torso printing and obviously all flesh colour because she's uh, well she just got this kind of little bikini outfit on here to obviously please Jabba and finally Jabba himself looking pretty cool you can see the print in there and the colours on his face and his eyes looking quite menacing his tattoo there on his arm these arms do move and again on that side um, you can spin the head round all the way as you can see there's other printing around his body um, but yeah pretty cool so for those who don't know Jabba comes in these two pieces as you can see here and it's just held together via this Technic pin so that just simply slots in like so okay so that's the overview of our minifigures okay just wanted to show you what this looks like with Jabba obviously holding the chain there so you can now see the chain in his hand dangling down and obviously there is our Princess Leia um, attached to that train um, as the prisoner okay one other thing I just wanted to quickly show you now that I've got the minifigures out of the sail barge itself so if I open up those sides get some light in there you can just see there the platform um, where Jabba sits so you can see the um, red and green 2x2 uh, two two tiles in there um, and this modified 2x2 two two tile there with the raised stud bit which is what he obviously Jabba sits on himself okay okay youtubers there we go that's my review of Jabba's sail barge hope you enjoyed that review of the sail barge and the minifigures and the various functions um, like I said I think it is a great set with regards to features I think it does look pretty cool, it's got some excellent minifigures in it, um, however I do struggle um, with the price, I do think it is overpriced um, for what you actually get, but again I still can't take away the kind of the play functions on this, I think it's a good one for A-folds for display, I think it does look pretty cool, and it's got great play features in there for obviously the younger kids and younger teenagers too. Um, probably will become a collectible item as well, um, particularly because we have this one in there, Jabba, um, and there's some other great minifigures in here as well. Um, so anyway guys, thanks very much for watching this review. Um, please do go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. As always, please provide me with some feedback, stroke comments, any questions you may have, I do endeavor to answer every comment I have. Um, go ahead, share this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.